Hi, my name is Russ. I'm going to show you how to use Trigger CMD to run commands on your computers remotely. Uh, but first, I got to tell you what it is. Um, so normally, you have to be sitting right at your computer to run a command on it. Uh, but with Trigger CMD, you can uh, use your browser on your phone or another computer, uh, or your voice with uh, like Google or Alexa, um, or with um, a cloud service like IFTTT or Zapier. Um, so some things you might want to run remotely are a playlist to play some music or you could turn on your computer uh, it Requires two computers one to turn on the other um, And then uh, or you could open your garage like I do when I get back from the lake I say open sesame to my phone and it opens um, Or I just tap that little icon um, So in, in a business uh, setting you might want to reboot a server or install some updates on a server um, to make it work, you have to install an agent on, a, on the computer that supports Windows, uh, Mac, or Linux, or uh, Raspberry Pi computers, which is a type of Linux. Uh, it's, they're these little computers like, like this. Um, so once you install the agent, you can, you can set up your commands that you want to be able to run remotely. Um, and only these commands can run remotely. Uh, and you know it comes with some example commands. Um, now, once you have the commands set up, uh, you can trigger them using uh, this little trigger button on the website or a bunch of other ways, but um, that's like the simplest, quickest way. Um, so this slide just, I know it's complicated, but it just shows how your computer gets added to this like ecosystem of um, IoT devices when you install Trigger CMD on it. Um, so you can do things like, you know, run, run commands using uh, the, the voice assistants like Cortana even, not just Google Assistant and uh, Zapier, but not uh, Siri. I haven't gotten that working. Um, and then you can, well, I'll demonstrate that real quick. Uh, hey Google, ask Trigger CMD to run calculator. Okay, here's Trigger CMD. Hello, Russ. I'm running calculator. Oh, um, so he, Google said, hello, Russ, I'm running calculator, because that's just what I told it to say when it runs calculator. You can, I'll show you how you can customize that in a little bit. And I use um, calculator just as a as a demo because it's quick and dirty and easy. Um, so then there's Zapier and IFTTT. What those do is let uh, something on the internet happen, and it uh, you know, um, and then automatically the next thing it'll do is it'll trigger a command on your computer if you uh, use the um, you know the integration with Trigger CMD. Um, similar with uh, Smart Things and Smart Things is a system that ties all your IoT devices together, like your, uh, you know, a thermostat and um, your switches on the wall. Um, what it does is it makes uh, Trigger CMD uh, commands or your commands on your computers show up in uh, Smart Things as uh, virtual switches, just like a, a wall switch. So you can do things like if um, you know it senses that you just came home, um, you know they have these little presence sensors. You could have it run a command on your computer. Uh, if that command's open your garage, you could have it open your garage when you come home, that kind of thing. So let me show you, uh, you know, how to, you know, get it installed and working. So trigger CMD. If you go here, you can go to the bottom of the page and see all the the different agents. Uh, so you download and install an agent, and then when you run it, it will uh, prompt you for a, a token, and that. Uh, that token will just log it into the into your account, uh, which you have to create an account first too. And then, so once you are in your account and you click the instructions page, you'll see a token, and you can copy paste that into that uh, that agent prompt. And then you'll have a new icon uh, looks like this. And you can just right click it and and click GUI command editor, which is most people all you all most people would ever need out of that menu. Um, and so you'll see a list of commands. Uh, it comes with calculator and notepad, um, and uh, so you can you can test your commands locally just by clicking that, or you can um, you know test them on on the web page by clicking uh, the trigger button. Um, I know this is this web browser is on the same computer as where um, the command ran, but it doesn't have to be. I could use the browser on my my phone or something. Um, now, you might have noticed I have a notepad and a notepad 2. That's because sometimes um, Alexa hears, I've got it paused, don't worry. Um, sometimes Alexa will hear note space pad instead of just notepad. 
Um, and so I added two just to make sure if he uh, if she hears either one, it'll it'll run. Um, so if you if you customize this, you can see that you can uh, customize the voice reply. Um, you can say, "I heard note space pad." Uh, that way, I'll know which one she heard. Oops, which one did I click? This one's. Oh, put that in the wrong one. Uh, I heard notepad. And uh, I heard no space pad. So let me de demonstrate. Hey, uh, I mean, Alexa. Uh, ask Trigger CMD to run Notepad. You have Notepad enabled. Ah. Do you want to open it? No. She didn't. She heard something else anyway. Alexa, ask Trigger CMD to run Notepad. I heard Note Space Pad. Oh, that time she heard. That time she heard this. Um, so, if you want to see, if you want to see what she hears. You can go to uh, the uh, Alexa web interface. Oops, gotta be careful when I hmm. say her name. I don't know that one. Um, and then you can pull down this uh, more or less thing, and you can see um, what she heard. Ask Trigger CMD to run calculator on family. Calculator on family. Um, same thing with uh, Google Home. It's helpful to find out what uh, Google Assistant is hearing. So you can go to uh, My Activity under uh, your account. Um, now the the um, computer also has a a voice word because if you don't have so if you don't have one more than one computer connected to your Trigger CMD account, you don't have to worry about it because you'll it'll be your default, and your default computer doesn't have um, or you, you know you don't have to specify the the computer. You don't have to say uh, hey Google, ask Trigger CMD to run calculator on family. All right, getting Trigger CMD. Okay, um, so this uh, computer, my computer upstairs, is called Russ Fam, but to Google or you know the voice assistants, it's called Family, um, and like I said, that just is. Uh, the easiest thing for Google or you know uh, Alexa to hear or to, to recognize. I mean, if I said Russ Fam, it might hear Russ Space Fam. So um, now you notice uh, it didn't say running calculator on family. It's because uh, I put a space in the voice reply, just a space like that. Some people don't want to be able to. Or some people want a less verbose reply, so um, that's the way to make it um, very uh, sparse. You know, uh, I think that's about it. Um, you know, let me know if you if I missed anything. Um, thanks.